Hi everyone! So today I'm finally unboxing Nakoon's latest solo album, Story Of. And so this is his second solo album release in Japan. And I ended up buying the box set for this, um, which I usually hold off buying box sets because initially they're really expensive. Um, since typically for 2pm they release three different versions of their solo album for the box set, um, but this time around there were only two um, versions for the box set. And so the price is a little bit cheaper, so I just picked this up using one of my Japanese proxy sites to buy this on the Sony Music Japan um, shop. And um, also in my proxy site, I ended up getting the latest um, hottest newsletter. Um, I think he pronounces Sasuga hottest. Um, so I thought that would be kind of fun to also flip through since there's a lot of Nikun in that as well. And if you guys haven't seen what these look like, I thought this would be a good opportunity to share it with you. I also have the LP-sized fan club version of Nikun's album that um, I will be unboxing at some point. Um, so I have a friend picking that up for me um, in Japan at the moment, so it's going to be a while before it gets to me. But uh, there will be a video on that as well. I've seen some images floating around Twitter and it looks like it's just as nice as uh, his other LP-sized solo album release. Um, but enough for this intro chat, uh, let's get into the unboxing. So this is the box set. Um, so um, if you buy this on Sony Music Shop Japan, um, you get this nice little slip case um, to go over uh, these two editions that um, are available at most uh, Japanese music retailers. Um, I haven't opened these yet, so you can see what they look like um, in plastic. Um, but let's start with um, the regular version, which is this one. So this one just comes with the CD. And I'm um, going to rip off the plastic. Yeah, the strip. So all of the limited editions come with bonus tracks, um, but for this regular edition, um, it just comes with the base five songs. And what's also kind of unique about um, the solo release is that we don't have a limited version B. So um, the bonus tracks aren't really on that edition. Instead, we just have one extra track on the DVD version and then an extra track on the fan club edition. So song-wise, um, we have, I guess, a little less um, than usual. Um, but here is what the disc looks like with some very pretty hearts. Um, in the track list. So this is the regular photo book and the first press editions come with a photo card. So there's one of five different designs um, as well as a high touch card that you could pull. Um, and you have the track list again listed here and there are Japanese and English versions of songs um, which hints out what the bonus tracks are on the other editions. And what I found interesting was that um, you have a lot more Japanese in this album than uh, what Kuhn did for his Me album. So I think that um, was interesting to see. Um, and then you have this thanks to you written both in English and Japanese. If you want to screen cap that, that's what he wrote there. And that's it for the regular book book. Now for the limited DVD version. What the OB strip looks like. And then the front and back. And for the bonus track, we have the English version of the title track, Story Of, as well as a special log, is what they're calling it, of Story Of. So I think it's more like a uh, behind the scenes of like the music video or maybe even the recording session. And then inside um, we have a similar heart pattern as before but now in this more uh, chocolate color. Um, for the CD disc and then for the DVD disc um, it's in this oh kind of cream color. Okay, 
Now for the photo book, um, again we have a trading card, which I'll reveal um, after looking at this, as well as various codes. We have the track list displayed again, and the limited versions always have more photos. And so this kind of is what uh, the photo book would have looked like if this was um, like a limited B version of a 2 p.m. Uh, solo album. But I'm kind of curious if they are doing away with um, those specific versions. And if they're just giving us two um, jewel case versions and then a fan club version. So that would be kind of nice if they do lower the number of album releases, especially on our wallets. But um, it's also possible that they decided just to do that for this album. And again, we have thanks to credits. And now for the photo cards. So these are the two photo cards and I do really like the coffee kind of very cozy feel that this photo book had and everything. So these are the two I ended up pulling. And before I move on to the Hottest Japan newsletter, um, I just wanted to briefly go over these songs. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing a more thorough album review. Uh, when I unbox the fan club version. But just for a brief little review of my thoughts concerning these songs, um, I really loved Story Of. Um, I thought the music video was really well done too. And so it did have slightly a different feel, I want to say, um, in English than it did in J Japanese, but that just may be because of my untrained ears. I think my favorite track um, out of all these, um, other than Story Of, um, is Stay In, which also had a really sweet um, music video, which had um, moments um, throughout uh, Nakun's career, which I thought was a very good choice for a second music video. And because this album was released around Christmas time, we of course have another Christmas song on here, which is a nice Christmas song. I typically don't like Christmas songs, but um, I do like this one. Um, I don't know if I prefer this over his last Christmas song on his Me album, but um, this is a nice song that you could potentially listen to year round. And Vanilla um, is also an interesting track. Um, I think it's a little too, I don't want to say sickly sweet, but it's a little too sickly sweet for me. Um, it's, it's, it's a song that I wouldn't mind listening to every now and then, but I don't want to listen to it continuously. <laughs> um, just because I've, I feel like I would get a cavity after listening to it. And I do like um, You as well. Though I prefer the Japanese version, which is on the fan club edition, that I've only heard a snippet of since I obviously don't have the fan club edition with me now. And I think that's just because whenever I listen to English lyrics, um, if they're overly kind of sweet, like vanilla, um, it's not something I regularly want to listen to, but if it's in Japanese and I don't have the same understanding of those words um, when I'm listening to, as I'm listening, it's a lot easier for me to handle. Uh, but overall, I thought this was a really good second album for Nakun. Um, I kind of wish there were more songs instead of just English and Japanese versions. But it's nice to see him continuously putting out music, um, especially during this hiatus period. I'm glad he's able to fill in the gap and to give us some really sweet music um, that we can listen to while we wait for all the other members to return um, to us. And lastly, I'm going to just share a little quick flip through of this hottest um, newsletter. And they also come with these postcards for the more recent editions, so there's at least like 10 of these. Um, and this is what the back looks like. Um, this photo shoot is something I think we've all seen <laughs> because there's not um, really any new OT6 pictures anymore. <laughs> so they've been needing to recycle photo shoots. Um, but what's really cool about the more recent ones, I want to say the last three or so, is they have these like... Um, these embossed um, touches and um, the embossing this time are all the little zoo PM characters. Um, I'm not sure how easy it is to see on here, but hopefully you get an idea. And then it's all in the back as well, so it creates a nice texture. And this is what the contents look like. Let me start off with Nakun's home tour. So there's a lot of nice pictures and um, give you the, like the set list and some other things that I can't easily read in Japanese, but 
that looks like. And then his high touch event um, and his little Christmas um, party and and advertising for his album and his concert um, Blu-ray and DVD. And we have Junho the Best, which is advertised as his last concert um, in Japan. So the set list is there. Um, and it looks like there's an interview with his bandmates that have been with him for so long. Um, it's really sweet seeing all their interactions. And it looks like they're advertising for something on Hottest Japan Mobile. And then his high touch event. And then um, his Do You Know the Best album. And then this is a report for his, for Junho's uh, Roses and Tulips movie. So there's some nice behind the scenes shots um, and images. And this is the um, comic book that you could buy um, that features the story that um, the Magnacon uh, artist who wrote uh, Princess Jellyfish, um, she made the script for this, um, if you're unfamiliar. <laughs> Uh, with what this movie is about and she also made a companion sort of a uh, manga uh, to go with it and uh Junho also has a solo song featured in the movie um it's only a digital release i don't think there is a physical uh, sadly and you could buy the movie um on japanese sites now and um i don't think it's ever going to have english subtitles unfortunately but uh watch it in Japanese if you want it um, and then they also released last year their six higher days complete edition so I did an unboxing of their blu-ray um, but they also had a DVD version and um, I think this is just a summary of you know, all the uh, screenings that they had in Japan of Korean solo concerts um, and also their six nights concert Unfortunately, as international fans, we can't really watch these because they don't release DVDs of their solo concerts. Um, so hopefully one day that would be corrected, but I'm not really holding my breath. Um, and then Kuhn's uh, Home Encore in Japan. And we get to look inside his bag, it looks like, and some of his sketches. And uh, a little bit about uh, the jacket making of his new album that I just uh, showed you. And then this is a summary of their 11th anniversary, um, I guess, exhibit that they had in Korea. And it's nice to see um, a page about Taekyun coming back. <laughs> Um, it's been a little awkward, I would say, with him not being in JYP, and he has his own Japanese fan club, I think, um, as an actor. So it's been a little bit weird um, on that front, but it's glad, I'm glad that they included him here. And then um, this is about uh, Chan Sung's last uh, Japanese fan meeting. And then an advertisement, basically, for their uh, 2 p.m. Best in Korea 2 album that they released um, over the summer. And that includes tracks from uh, mostly these albums. And, yeah, the Best um, of Korea uh, 1 was of the earlier th things. And it looks like um, all the members uh, talk about certain songs, I guess, that are their favorites and they give a little ex explanation in Japanese about either their thoughts or why they're, they're um, their favorite. And then here we just have various pictures of Jun K and Woo Young who are coming back um, to us very soon. So that was a nice little homage to them. Um, information on how to join the Hottest Fan Club. And then um, some upcoming releases. So they're advertising for Junho's new uh, concert Blu-ray and DVD, um, as well as uh, the new uh, The Best of 2 p.m. in Japan um, album that's coming out as well in March. So that was everything for this unboxing. I hope you guys didn't mind um, the delay, and I hope you also liked me inserting 
uh, the Japanese newsletter in here. So if you found that interesting, um, but uh, hopefully I'll have the fan club version of Story Of um, uploaded sometime soon. I just have to wait to get my hands on um, my copy. And now that I actually have this album, I'm going to put um, a compilation of my favorite Nikun um, solo songs uh, with using live footage um, and just random making footage uh, of all of his solo songs. So do you look forward to that? I'm aiming to get that done by the end of this month, but definitely by February, I'll have that uploaded um, for you guys to enjoy. But until my next video, um, bye guys.